Hey everybody, it's Annette Green, and guess what? It's not Graphic 45, it's not Elizabeth Craft Designs, it is Simple Stories. And today I want to share with you a little mini album, and it's not so little actually. It is 6 by 9, actually 6 by 10. It's a 6 inch by 10 inch album. It's all handmade from chipboard. And I want to give you a spin through of it, but I will just tell you now, this is not a tutorial. This is just a sneak peek and the tutorial will be for sale in my Etsy shop. Uh, I know a lot of you come here for free tutorials and I offer those 90% of the time, but I do have to make a little money to pay the bills. So once in a while I will offer a tutorial, especially for Etsy, for you to purchase, print out and do yourself at home. So that's what this is today. Okay, so just to reiterate, this is Simple Stories. This is a brand new collection designed by one of my favorite paper designers, uh, Katie Pertit, for Simple Stories. She does a lot of designs for 49 and Market, which I'm a huge fan of as well. Uh, but this is called the Simple Vintage Vintage Seas Collection. And that is exactly what I have purchased here. In this particular collection, you get 12 sheets of double-sided designer cardstock including cut apart element sheets and a 12 by 12 sticker sheet with 69 stickers. So there's a lot of good fun stuff to work with here, beautiful papers. And um, also I purchased and used the coordinating decorative brads in the same line, which you will see when I give you the little sneak peek of the album. So there's that. And then I also incorporated the chipboard clusters, which are great. Um, instant embellishment, all these great pieces. These are really large, as you can see right here on the cover. Uh, these are wonderful, instant embellishments. Okay, so let's take a look at the album itself. Okay, so like I said, it's a six by 10. It's a pretty good sized album here. And we have some paper and some elements on the side, and we just have some decorative paper on the back with one of the stickers here. Everything is made from craft chipboard and craft cardstock. We have some pretty ribbon to tie it closed here, but this is a file folder album. Uh, there are file folders and there are there's craft cardstock mixed in, so it's not all file folders. And just to give it a little different look, I did the file folders tall this time. So here's a quick spin through. We've got cute little paper clips you'll learn how to make. We've got these flap open pockets and areas to put photos and more journaling. I've used all kinds of the brads and the stickers and the cut apart pieces. Um, another page on the back and then we've got this great little side loading pocket with journaling and more paper for photos. Lots of journaling here. All these great embellishments over here and lots of journaling space. Uh, this is a great option for summer photos, beach photos, vacation photos, lots of interaction with these flaps. It's such a beautiful collection. And then we have split apart these two sections, which are made of craft. And then we have magnetic closures and pop open areas. And then we have another one of our file folders with a pretty uh, paper clip embellishment and that folds open. There's all kinds of real estate here for photos and journaling. So here's the back of this and then we have another magnetic flap here and then wonderful embellishment here and a pocket here. And I didn't talk about this pocket on the front. It's like a triple pocket. This is a special die that I have and I'll talk about that when I talk about supplies. Uh, but you could just make a regular pocket like the the back one here for the front so that they match. Okay, so let's talk about supplies that you would need if you're going to purchase this tutorial in your Etsy shop. I've already talked about the paper collection, the whole collection kit. Once again, simple vintage, vintage C's, 12 by 12 collection kit. Okay, you get the paper and the stickers there. And I will show you after all was done with that album, this is what I had left with the paper. <laughs> I mean, this is like the largest piece I had left right there. So I could still incorporate some things if I wanted to, but for now, um, 
that's all that I've used. And I did mention, of course, the decorative brads and the chipboard clusters. So we know about that. Now the file folders, these are blue file folders. Uh, I have used file folders in the past and I've had a lot of comments about, um, gosh, I don't want to buy a whole box. It's very expensive. I'll never use a hundred. That's what this is. This is by Smead, S-M-E-A-D. And these are navy colored. 13193 and they do come in a quantity of a hundred and so you get roughly 33 of each of the tab cuts here you have three different tab designs now to answer the issue of I don't want to buy a whole box just to use three because that's all you use in here is three of these uh, I am going to list sets of three in my Etsy shop as a separate listing for those of you who would like to just purchase three and not have all those extras Okay, so I did use those and that die that I mentioned in the top, you know, the front, inside front cover. Uh, I have used this before and mentioned it in a video before. I got this on Amazon, Stitched Slots Pocket Set by Maddie's Crafting Joy. It's right there on Amazon. It's got this additional piece if you want to adorn the front of these little drawer things. But it's a great little die, especially for like a vacation or travel journal kind of situation where you're collecting things, uh, maps, or, you know, if you're going on a cruise, you might want to keep the key in here and you might want to keep the, the guide map to how the cruise layout, the cruise ship layout, anything else, a menu, maybe you want to keep that in there as memorabilia. That's a great place for that. But like I said, you can follow the directions and just make a single pocket like we do on the back here. Some other things that you will need is six sheets of craft cardstock, about two sheets of red cardstock that's compatible with the paper. And then I'm looking at my notes here just to make sure. I think I only used one. Uh, no, you will need two two sheets of craft chipboard. Actually, I say one here. Yeah, because we only do two six by tens and then a two by ten. So you can get all of that out of a just a 12 by 12 sheet of craft chipboard. Okay, well, that's good. And then you might want to have some trims. I just used a very little bit of this blue and ivory stripe ribbon and this red and ivory stripe. And I found this at my local Hobby Lobby, but you know, use what's in your stash. Uh, I did use some magnets and I am very fond of the basic gray ma magnetic discs, the small magnets. You get this many and there's pluses and minuses and it's very easy to use them. And of course my directions will be very clear on how you use them. So those are helpful. And of course, I'll link to everything I can below. But one more thing you might want to have if you want to make those cute little paper clips and the paper clips do keep those folders closed. I didn't do magnets on some of those. So I did three of the large, I guess they call them jumbo paper clips. Like here's a regular size paper clip. And so they're just like not even twice as long just a little bit longer than a regular size paper clip. And so, you know, when we have something that flaps open like this, rather than putting a bunch of magnets, because it's a very large flap, um, I just use this um, pretty paper clip and I show you in the directions how to make it with the leftover papers in the end. Okay. And before I go, the last couple of things, of course, that you would need would be maybe some foam tape, you know, like, foam adhesive. I like to use black, but use whatever you have. Uh, Double-sided adhesive tape or your liquid glue in some cases. Scissors, a craft knife, scoring tools, things like that. Um, and then I use a one inch wide uh, nice kind of craft colored ribbon. You can use whatever you like or just skip that part altogether. I just like it because it keeps it closed. Okay, one more thing. Uh, this is now in my Etsy shop for as directions. So right now during the summer, great one to have. And of course you can always use your own papers to do something like this. You can change it all up, but use the basic directions to make another album with a whole different theme. 
And then just to remind you, because we know Halloween time's coming up, this was from last year, but this tutorial is still in my Etsy shop and it's been very, very popular. Uh, last year's paper from Graphic 45 was Midnight Tales. This year we have Charmed. I'm gonna make something with that very soon and share that with you. But uh, just so in case you missed this last year, this is a tutorial in my Etsy shop. This is the kind of stuff that I love to do. So some of you that are new to me this year, this might be new looking to you, but this is definitely something like I like to do and that is definitely still available in my shop. All kinds of interaction I like. I like pockets. I like fold open areas for more photos. I like places for journaling and more photos. This one happened to use craft colored um, file folders same company just craft so yeah this was a really fun one we had a good time with this last year this has a lot of interaction in it uh, I will link to the video on this I believe it's all uh, just like a teaser just like this first one I'm showing you it's not a tutorial for for free it's something you would buy in my Etsy shop but just so you know you can make this complete album with completely different paper Christmas paper anything you want that that uh, summer paper whatever you like so anyway that's it for me today watch for this in my Etsy shop it is there now I'll put the link to my shop below and I hope you check it out try it with your own papers try it with simple stories um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know, but thank you for stopping in today and have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.